This video will show you how a petitioner or non-attorney respondent can review contracts and filings and e-sign in CompFile. If you are a petitioner and you have an attorney to represent you, or if you are a non-attorney respondent, such as an insurance adjuster, you should not register through the CompFile sign-in page. When a petitioner or non-attorney respondent needs to review and e-sign a settlement contract or other filing, they receive an email notification. The email notification contains a link which allows them to set up multi-factor authentication through Okta and register in ComFile. The e-signer will click Activate Okta Account. This must occur within seven days of receiving the email. Once the e-signer clicks the link, they will choose a password. Next, the e-signer can choose to add a phone number for resetting their password or unlocking their account by text message or by voice call. After choosing a security image and creating their account, the e-signer will set up their multi-factor authentication. There are a variety of authentication methods to choose from. It is only necessary to choose one. Once the authentication method is chosen, the eSigner clicks Finish. This brings the eSigner to the CompFile portal where they can simply click Sign In. After clicking Applications or Settlements, the eSigner can click the arrow to the right of the case to open the contract or filing where it can be viewed in its entirety. This is a view only option. The eSigner cannot make any changes. Documents can be downloaded and viewed. To see step-by-step -step how to download a document from ComFile, please see the video, ComFile Fundamentals. The last screen will be the signature page. The e-signer can e-sign by clicking the arrow to the right of their name. The success of the e-signature can be verified by noting the date under Date Signed. Once the e-signer has successfully e-signed, the drop-down arrow is no longer accessible. The filing or contract will now indicate that the e-signer has signed. The e-signer's job is now complete, quickly, efficiently, and without the inconvenience of paper forms. Note. After seven days, the invitation registration email link will not work, and the e-signer will get an error message regarding the expired invitation token. The attorney should then resend the invitation email by clicking the down arrow next to their name. The e-signer will also get the token expired error message if they attempt to click the link in the invitation email after they have already created a password and registered in ComFile. If the e-signer has set up a password and registered, they should not click the link to get into ComFile anymore. They can sign in directly through the ComFile sign-in page.